I got my ghost sweater on and I want to build something autumnal, okay? So I was thinking we could try and make a pumpkin patch today. And I've built a pumpkin patch before. I made like this haunted barn turned into a nightclub sort of thing. It had a pumpkin patch attached to it. But this time I want to aim for a little bit less nightclub and more like family day trip to the pumpkin patch barn. So I'm thinking we could do a park on this little lot at like the top of the mountain in the cottage living world. So what I'm kind of picturing is like a barn in this corner over here and then like a pumpkin patch attached to it and then some trees and picnic tables and like a little park type area to sort of tie it all together. I don't know. We're just gonna wing it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know what this place is, but I saw this picture online and I just loved this. Like, I think this is so cute. So I'm kind of feeling as though this is my inspo for the build. Like the distressed red paneling, fairy lights. This one's decorated for Christmas, but <laughs> we're gonna have Halloween. You get it, you get the idea. I haven't actually built a barn in a while. I mean, I, I build a lot of houses with this sort of shape of roof, <laughs> but I haven't built a barn barn in a while. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, I kind of liked how that little barn business from the reference photo, I sort of liked how they had like another building on the side of it, like an extension or something. I don't know. I'm imagining the bathrooms could be in there, right? Couple bathroom stalls, couple of sinks. That'll work. Okay, so I'm thinking this could be like pave or I don't know, at least have some sort of like pavement kind of thing. And then there would be like a small kind of curvy path that could lead you to the pumpkin patch section. I like it. I don't know how big it should be. We'll figure that part out. It's fine. I used to have to make like fake pumpkin patches because we didn't have a way to grow pumpkins. But now with cottage living, we can grow real pumpkins. I don't know how to split this up. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, that could work. And then like gate in the middle. Obviously I'll move the pathway. Oh, <laughs> wrong thing, wrong thing. And then there'll be pumpkins in there. Yeah. Okay, and what else goes on this lot though? <laughs> what else goes in here? I like that. And then we'll sort of, you know, extend it a little. <laughs> in a couple places. I'm not sure what to do. I don't even know when I last went to a pumpkin patch in real life. I honestly cannot think of a single time that I've been to a pumpkin patch in the last like 10 years. I am not qualified to make this build. Ooh, that is quite the paneling. It's okay. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's fine. Is it? No, it is. It's fine. Should I make that round? Is that weird? I kind of like it. All right. I'm kind of going out of order here. I'm going to get some debug trees and I'm going to try and fill in the lot a little bit because I'm, I'm struggling to see the uh, the vibes. So I want to put some trees to hide my build and then maybe I'll like it better. You know the drill, when in doubt, hide it with trees. Well, the, the real thing I say is when in doubt, make it smaller. But um, this advice also still stands. When in doubt, cover your mistakes with trees. <laughs> well, to be honest, I feel pretty good about this. I think it looks okay. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, this is wonderful. Because <laughs> the kids could come take pictures with it. I'm going to grab some extra debug stuff while I'm here. I don't know if there's any like, <gasps> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be using that. Anyway, I don't know if there's anything that's like particularly pumpkin related, but I feel like there's a lot of debug things from Cottage Living that could be good for this place. So I will be using them. I think what we'll be doing eventually is like piling up a bunch of pumpkins as decorations, but I want to do some landscaping first and then like add them in. I'm liking this concept though. Not that I've done anything to it. <laughs> it's very empty still, but you get it. Can you see it? Can I pretend this is a sign? I know it's not a sign, but like, can I dream? Can I pretend? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's perfect. I want to put something up there. I'm not a huge fan of the color of it, but I feel like it works. <laughs> I feel like that's what we want. I think there should be a fireplace in here too. I don't know what the inside of this is meant to be, to be honest. Is it a bar? Oh, what if we made it so that the lot worked as a bar and a park or a cafe? <gasps> what if it was a cafe? I think that makes more sense. I don't know what swatch to use. <laughs> We'll figure that out one step at a time. Can we use like a really fancy door into the bathrooms? <laughs> I don't know why. I just like the idea of that for some reason. I've been avoiding putting doors, but I feel like now's the time. You gotta pick something, Kayla. I don't think I want to use the cottage living ones, mostly because there's not really a door that I want. I think I wanted to have bigger windows and doors. Ooh, thoughts on that? Um, maybe another tree. <laughs> I know how to fix it, everybody. Don't worry. You know what they always say. If you don't like it, cover it up. Well, see, now isn't that lovely? You can't even tell it looks bad. Okay, just a few windows on the outside. Nothing too fancy. Oh, part of why I'd rather use the bar, even though I know that I said I was gonna make a family space. To be fair, not that bars are inherently impossible for the youngsters to be at. It's a pub. 
<laughs> it's a pub. I just like the look of this better. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, that's just cuter and more what I'm going for. The problem is that bars need TVs. Ick, that is not what I want this to look like. Okay, got some picnic tables. Why do you need to have a patio chair if you have a picnic table? Why doesn't that count as four patio chairs? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. See, these are the pumpkins that came with spooky stuff. We have a few options for like throwing in decorative pumpkins places. We can use the like actual decorative pumpkins that came with seasons, which are super cute. We can pile up the pumpkins that came with cottage living, or we can use the carved pumpkins that came with spooky stuff. There's all kinds of little decorative pumpkins though. And I feel like maybe at least in this area, I'll just put some decorative ones. <laughs> this thing's funny. I don't like that item. I, the, it looks very poorly made. I mean that in a nice way, but I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> I love this little guy. Oh, the horrible outside patio chairs can be with the chess table, duh. We just managed to put like four. If we manage to fit two chess tables, then we're set. Why is a trash can not a required item for a park? No sense. I will stick it in the corner there though, cause it's kind of out of the way, but it's still useful. Oh my God, that counts as an outside patio chair? <gasps> so does the hay bale? Oh. Well, problem solved then, because we can put a bunch of hay bales. Okay, I'm gonna put one grill too. Does that look cute with the pumpkins in this corner? I think it looks cute. <laughs> I wanna come here. I'm having so much fun with this build. You don't understand, I love this. That is a very large pumpkin, by the way. That's like the height of your Sims when they're sitting down. Ew, the colors on this pumpkin carving station are so not good. That is not matching my vibes, not at all. <laughs> Well, I feel like I need to hide the pumpkin carving station then. Nah, that is disappointing. <laughs> I am upset. Okay, I'm gonna stick them back here, I think. And I'll just put some plants around to cover them up, hopefully. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I want the wood to match like my pumpkin fence, you know? I love the pumpkins in this game. I'm so glad we finally got the ability to grow pumpkins. For so long, you couldn't. Like we had the pumpkins that came with spooky stuff ages ago, but you couldn't actually grow pumpkins for for some reason. I am very glad that you finally can. And look how much better the new ones look than the old one. Such an improvement. I think the darker ones are the best bet. The light one just looks too, too light, right? And then if you put like a little bit of terrain paint under it, maybe it'll look intentional. I don't know. At least you can't really see it from the front, but you know it's there if you're gonna play with it. Wait, we can use the sign there for some reason. I don't know what the fox reading books has to do with the pumpkin carving or the picnic tables, but for some reason it works. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a way to hide this chess table under the tree. I don't really want it here. I really wanted the swing set to be over here, but the game demands a chess table, so I'll give them one. This is like the one time that you'll catch Lil Simsy complaining about putting a chess table in her build. See, those chairs? extremely impractical for an outdoor chess table, but it's the Sims, doesn't matter. And I want to use them, so I will. This is such a chaotic way to build because I've put like all the lot requirements just out. I mean, I've mostly put them away now, but I knew I needed to have four of these. So I just like put four in the front and then was planning on using them eventually. <laughs> I feel like to watch this is probably so annoying because it's just a mess. Oh, one thing I forgot and I wanted to do really bad was the fairy lights. We can definitely put some here because they go straight into the wall, so that works. <laughs> I didn't really think this through. Like if I had done the fairy lights first, I probably would have made the whole building on purpose to fit them. So where am I gonna put them now? <laughs> that is the question. I mean, we can put some like kind of in front of the tractor thing. They fit pretty well there. And then maybe some more like there. So just kind of along the path, that's not bad. I think what I'm doing now is just putting piles of pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> like by this tree. So for some reason, there's some very large pumpkins back there. Patchy even comes with pumpkins. He's perfect. No, but like actually though, Patchy is so perfect for for this exact task that we have because he comes with pumpkins <laughs> and he comes with a hay bale. I wish that one was a little bit bigger. <laughs> I feel like it looks silly in there. Maybe I'll size, oh yeah, I'll size down that one. That's fine. That feels like a pretty solid photo spot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have my sims come here and like take family photos, by the way. I'm totally not kidding about that. You know I do that, probably too much, but like I am absolutely gonna have sims come here and take photos in front of this. <laughs> I'm like constantly adjusting the path like ever so slightly just so it fits perfect around the stuff. If this terrain paint disappears, you know the terrain paint glitch? If that happens to me right now, I will cry. I'm not kidding. There will be tears. And I don't think you'd
can blame me. <laughs> Honestly, I think some of you might cry too. Okay, the exterior looks like it's almost completely done. Do you think these pumpkins being here would cause injury? <laughs> I hope not, because I'm gonna use them. You wouldn't hit them on the swings, it's fine. Oh, I don't wanna put them too close to the swings though, because I'm not sure if your sims will still use the swings. I don't wanna like mess up their pathing. The swings are important, okay? We can't risk ruining it. Okay, aside from like actually planting the pumpkins, I think that's the whole outside of this place finished. Now we gotta do the whole inside because I've been putting that part off. So it works as a park now. I'm gonna change it to a bar and make sure we get all the bar requirements too. And then the idea is that if you download it, you could sort of switch between them depending on what you need for your gameplay. I keep finding items I wanna use and then putting them outside. I gotta stop. Focus, focus. Okay, I feel like we want a couple tables. Maybe I don't want the polka dot chairs. <laughs> I was gonna try and make it work, but now I don't know if that's what I'm going for. <sighs> but they're cute. Oh, but it doesn't make any sense. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I might put that on the inside. No, I'll put it on the outside. I don't know. I'm really invested in this build now, so I'm gonna be real sad if it turns out bad. <laughs> Is that floating? Oh, why? I wanna put it there so bad. It slots to like table tables, but not to the side tables. Oh, the slotting in this game is so bizarre. It doesn't slot to counters either. At least it like raises up to the right height for the counter. Oh, my patience is being tested by this game right now. <laughs> okay, I wanna get different lights because I want it to be like a warmer tone in here. Oh, I might stick one window in the back. I know that's like kind of weird from the back, but well, maybe it isn't that weird. We could do like the sinks like that. I kind of like that and we'll get these lights. Yeah, I want the gold on the sinks. Very nice. Curtains look a bit silly on the windows, but that's all right. <laughs> I've tried like every mirror. I can't find one that I want to use. We can't put like a gold mirror behind the sink at a pumpkin patch. But then this one seems too small and like too plain. Maybe I'll use this one. I wish this plant didn't look so weird inside. The lighting is like so weird on it. I kind of like that. I feel like that's cozy. Don't worry everyone. Toilet paper. Oh my god, debug being on makes it so hard to find stuff. You have to scroll so far. Yeah, I don't want to make the bathrooms too complicated. I think I'll leave them like that. If we manage to get a ladder, which I don't want to do, but if I were to... <laughs> Sorry, this is ridiculous. Okay, well maybe the bar isn't centered on purpose because there's a ladder to the attic near it, in it. There's a ladder to the attic in it. Does that still work? I feel like this is like a tiny bit too big. I mean, we could scoot it in. It just, it's annoying how it clips. Do I hate it? I don't know, but maybe it's fine. Should the bar be like against the wall then instead? Mm, maybe that would be better. I'm not a huge fan of like how it's right next to the bathroom, but I do think that it being over a little bit is probably Probably for the best. Okay, besties, I may have done something here with this. Tiny living area upstairs in the attic. Closet, in case your sims want to woohoo, perhaps. Or, I mean, for storage, right? Venue wall speaker, spooky. Yep, that's the one. Okay, now I'm just trying to put pumpkins everywhere inside. You know, finishing touches and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> by spamming pumpkins everywhere. Is there like a barrel or something? I'm, I don't know what to, oh my. <laughs> no, I want like a bathtub full of pumpkins, maybe. I mean, this, this thing might be in a bad spot <laughs> if I'm gonna put a bathtub full of pumpkins next to it, but hang on, I can make this work. Is this worth it? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Am, am I like wasting my time right now? I actually kind of like it. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. I mean, it's odd, but it's kind of cute. Okay, I'm going to purchase like 12 pumpkin seeds <laughs> and I'm gonna plant them all in this area. Okay, I'm gonna like cheat to fill these all up too. Like set gardening state, blossoming. Oh, it's like organized by white and orange pumpkins. That's definitely just like a, a glitch, but give me more green pumpkins. <laughs> it's okay, we can like move these things around depending on like what colors they give us. Come on, give me at least one more green one. Oh, yay, okay. <laughs> gonna like swap some of these bad boys around a little bit and then I think what I'll do is harvest this one come on bestie you gotta come on but just that one yes let's try that again <laughs> give me orange this time yes oh I think this is so cute okay I think it's done so I will stick it on the gallery for you I'm really proud of this one I think it's cute and remember when you download it you can use it as a bar or a park both of them work you can swap it to whatever you need and then you can come visit I'm really proud of how the landscaping turned out I think this place is pretty cute I like all the pumpkins this is like exactly what I was envisioning. Okay, I'll leave you alone now. I'll stop talking about pumpkins. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, maybe comment, subscribe, I don't know. And with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. This one took me a real long time. I'm kind of embarrassed by how long it took because it's like not even that big, but it was worth it.